Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails of Cold Steel 3 Part 78. In the previous video, we arrived at the port city of Ordis and we got to do a little bit of a little bit of exploring. We're still in the starting business district. We have to go to Kleist Mall, right? I assume we haven't been there based on the, the green star. It's been a couple days since the last video. I think this is the right save as well. Um, my saves are a little messed up because the other day I went back and did the McBurn fight, or I had to like, I reloaded a save to do the McBurn fight and beat it without using Emma's S craft, which ended up not being that hard actually. And actually I did, I did it twice too, because I did it two days ago, but I wasn't recording because I had stopped recording to delete some of the footage since it was just kind of junk footage that was gonna clog up my hard drive. And then I forgot to start re-recording for the successful attempt. And so then I was like, well, I mean, I did it once. I guess I could like do it again. And then last night I did it again. This time I actually recorded it. And I guess I'm gonna tack that on to the video where we fight McBurn, which I guess you will have already seen by this point. So I don't really know why I'm bringing it up now that I think about it, but I guess to give you an idea of the, the timeline, we, that's what we did. Or I've since done that. It, I mean, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I think I'm going to record like a... Like I'm probably going to record a voiceover for it and tack that onto the end of the McBurn video when that goes up, which it hasn't gone up yet. It's still like maybe a couple more days for that'll go up, but... Well, wow, this is a nice store. I guess they don't call it a town of nobles for nothing. Oh, actually, this is quite small. It opened half a year ago. If anything, it's more tailored for commoners. Really? Yeah, commoners have also been showing an interest in luxury goods lately. Quite small is pretty popular from what I've heard. A 5% discount? <laughs> oh, I'm not mad. I haven't spent all my money or nothing. Oh, 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 you motherfucker, Hugo, I am going to beat the shit out of you next time we see you, you piece of sh- Hello, we have a fine selection for cheap. That's certain like the older folk, I've worked hard to get where I am. What? That's the power of the Clay Association. I don't mean, I don't necessarily like, disagree with you per se, but like, it's kind of a weird fucking thing to say to a stranger. Kind of a kind of a big weird energy, dude. It's like, I, unlike those stinking old people, like I mean, like we get it. You got a point, right? Uh, kind of, maybe. It's just kind of a weird energy to bring it up. Welcome to the RF store. What is branch? We work directly with RF. We have a fine selection, but our main priority is super speedy service. Super speedy? How intriguing. These these motherfuckers really gave me a five percent discount after I bought everything. It's nothing too crazy, so we provide all our services at super speed. We deliver all of our large orbital appliances the same day, and we do same day repairs when needed. We also have our own airship, which is how we can provide such services. That's pretty crazy, but is all that really necessary? Optimizing convenience sets it apart from other stores. I'm a little mad. <laughs> and by a little mad, I'm fucking fuming. It's really, it's like such a small amount of money that it's saving us. But it's the principle of the matter, man. Yo, this shit gives seven speed. Oh, man. Oh, wait till you get the orders for you buy items. Wait till you get the orders for you buy items. Why didn't I listen to past me? Seven speed? Are you insane? Can't even... Seven speed? Seven? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing that shit for the rest of the damn game. You know what, get this garbage out of my inventory. Now we're maybe being a little too aggressive with selling our spirit instances now. Cause they are still really good. They're like the only way to res the back one, as I learned. For some reason I thought you could switch in a dead character and res them, but you can't. So if somebody dies and then gets switched in, you, they're just out of the party unless you spirit incense. 
Maybe Seraphic Ring can res them? I'm not entirely sure. I think it reses everyone. The problem with Seraphic Ring, based on my experience with the Burn fight, is that that shit is garbage. Um, I don't know if it's for some reason, if this is actually it or if it's just in my head, but it feels like the delay from resing, like from like when you get res to when you get your next action on Seraphic Ring, is like twice as long as any other type of res. It could be in my head, I'm 90% sure it's not. Seven speed? Seven. Seven, seven, like, like the number of speed you get is seven. No one, no one is allowed to talk to me right now. Stop, stop. You, you can't say a word right now, okay? I, I hear you trying to say something, but don't. I already feel enough pain. Bye, small, it's perfectly secure. If you let us know if you're running any issues, I'm running the issues that, like, I've been fucking bamboozled. Oh, I just thought I had a curiosity. This place isn't too bad. It seems they have all sorts of popular novels here. Oh, this is one of the series I like. Is that the latest entry? I guess I'll pick it up. Can I have the old one? This selection here isn't bad. My father hates this place, so I have to come here in secret. Welcome to Kleist Mall. This is your first time here? <laughs> I can tell. Our first time customer is always surprised by how wonderful we are. And on top of that, our prices are lower than any department store. I encourage you to browse around. I'm sure you'll find everything to your satisfaction. Is this like when like my coat's gonna disintegrate after three battles? Is it because it's like you know five percent cheaper? Oh, you got shopping. This mall is awesome. Everything is so modern here. I just can't get enough. Best of all, it's cheap. You just can't beat this place. It's freaking seven speed. If you sell something that's better, why are the black records in your? Calm down. Calm, calm, calm down, calm down. You don't have to be mad. You don't have to be, you don't have to be overcome with immense amounts of rage. Why, why do you have this? Why do I have to pay for it? <laughs> well, there goes the buy an abyss shadow uh, strat. I kind of forgot and I was thinking about selling all my spirit instances for that, or essences. Are they essences or incenses? It doesn't really matter because they're incenses. But I was saying the right thing. Did we talk to everybody in there? I think we did. Did I talk to you? You actually bought that Black Records book. Guess it takes all kinds, huh? It's not the book that I ordered. It was mixed in with a package that was sent to me. Oh, I see. Huh, who would have thought you could buy the black records at a regular bookstore? Well, isn't that how you get the very first black record in CS1? Is you just buy it from some dude? Granted, that's like... It's not just, it's a little special, right? Because he's like, I don't know where I found this thing. It just happened to be in my inventory. Here, you can have it for 500 mirror or something really cheap. I mean, the cover's just black and I can't read the words. I don't even know if it's worth anything. Oh, okay, I don't know if it's worth anything. Yeah, it'll be 3,000 mira. Oh, you get a discount, though. Fuck. Anyhow, it was sent to us, so that means we can sell it, right? Thank you for your purchase. She really doesn't hold back, does she? He's a true merchant. Huh, something's off. Black Records sounds intriguing, but... It's a good selection, right? We get the newest publications the same day they come out in the capital. Plus, we're working with publishing companies to schedule events, such as autograph signings. Our sales are on fire! I'm about to smack you upside the head. And your face will be on fire. Hello, we have a fine selection for cheap. Unlike the oh yeah yeah, because you're like the it's weird weird energy. My dang, my, lady, my, my money, it's gone. Can I? Will somebody have sympathy on me and give me all their money? What I want to do? Oh, wait, do we we equipped all that stuff, right? My God, look at look how fast he is. Let's do 
noble district. Wow, St. Arca's pretty and all, but this is the embodiment of magnificence. There's a reason this place is so popular with the nobility. Damn, look at all those mansions. Compensating much? Exactly. Look at that. That one's more a castle than a mansion. That's the Cayenne Estate, the former home of the Duke pulling the strings during the Civil War, and that of the largest noble house in the Empire. Uh, That's right. I imagine Duke Cayenne is a sensitive subject of the people of Ordis. Everyone sees him a little differently, but they'd all tell you that his imprisonment of the Imperial fame is nothing short of a disaster and that he deserved his arrest. How could he have done something so foolish? Things like that. Well, is he actually under arrest or is he just like, Oh no, as your punishment, you are sentenced to being rich. You can't leave your giant mansion. Oh no, dang, no, don't punish me. Oh no, I hate that. Don't make me live in this castle. I see. Well, I see, if it didn't blow up in his face, and no one's be singing his praises right now. He's correct. By the by, it sounds like Duke Kyan's mansion is going to be the site of the Imperial Provincial Council. Maybe yeah, this would be a good district for us to patrol. I agree, with the cathedral so close, I imagine this area will draw a sizable crowd. Shall we get going? I've already had to sell 20 of my favorite boats! Have you heard anything more appalling? This new tax system is absurd! They're bullying nobles that are paying out the nose! Damn you, Marcus Ballard! Damn you, Imperial Government! I had to rid myself of some of the merchant ships my grandfather passed down to me, aside from the little head start of a self-made man. Okay. I see why dude to the market says the stuff he says. Imagine inheriting not just one boat, but like a fucking fleet of boats. I've never even seen a boat. I mean, that's not true, but... I'm waiting for my beloved. Mercedes, will I see you this year? Mercedes, my love. Oh, how I hope you'll return to me this year. Alright, yeah, whatever. I don't know if I know you. I feel like I know you, but I'm not sure if I know you. Well met, before you stands the Cayenne Estate. Head left if you're bound for Oris Coastal Road. I mean, can I go? I know the answer is no, but like, what if it wasn't? The road is just ahead. We should probably finish exploring the city before we head out, though. Yeah, yeah, just hurry it up. Okay, fine. I had to read I already talked to you. Man, oh, I only have... Wait, Count Florad. You're, uh... You're, you're Elisa's rival, right? And, uh, what's his name? Vin is it, was it Vincent? Something like that, right? Thor's military academy branch campus. I've heard rumors about you. Last month you helped maintain the peace in the Crossbell province. I'm sure the people would at least be a little more relieved with you around. Good luck. Yeah, because as we all know, the actual fucking government wasn't doing a damn thing. We're a little busy, but if you need anything from us, please let me know. Like, technically, Rufus and friends spent more time and energy trying to help Ouroboros by obstructing the SSS than they did in actually, like, protecting the people they're supposed to govern. Master's really focused on preparing for the Imperial Finchal Council. It's good that he's focused, but I can lose, he can lose sight of things on time. It's quite worse, and... I should bring some tea and snacks later. My lady seems to be working hard as well. It's good that she takes after her father. I'm going to pray for her success. Hmm, the main topic of the Imperial Provincial Council will probably be how to deal with the Imperial Government, at least for the first day. So many conflicting factors, the proceedings won't have a good flow. And will all the four great houses even participate? This truly is mind boggling. Fair or not, I suppose we can leave our V for now. If you're she's turning 20 years old, you can start thinking about her marriage soon. I'm not careful, she may follow in the footsteps of Count Altheim's daughter. There are so many things to worry about. Oh no, don't go like getting married at your own pace. That'd be awful. Oh no. I would be mildly embarrassed in front of my rich friends. So, where's. I shall be heading out now, Rennie. Where's the brother? That's who I really wanted to see. But, my lady, you shouldn't go don't along. Don't worry. I am a graduate of a military academy. With that shop opening here, I can't simply rest on my laurels. What? I need to be proactive. This woman is... Huh? Oh, a 
customer? Customer? You sell stuff? Huh? Reen? How <laughs> long time do I see, Ferris? Welcome to Ordis, everyone from Thor's Branch Campus. I am Ferris Florod, eldest daughter of Count Florod. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Wow, she's beautiful. Let me guess, she's another one of your old schoolmates, huh, Teach? No comment. Hey, don't say it like that. She was in the same class as Patrick. They were always competing with, with all of us in Class 7. My, that certainly takes me back. I was also in the cross cup with Elisa, but she was my rival at first, but before I knew it, we had become best friends. Best friends? Wouldn't she also be your only friend? This is embarrassing. She's kind of cute. You two would probably get along. You both joined sports clubs, after all. By the way, have you kept in touch with Lisa? Yes, quite often, actually. She's helping me with an issue that I'm dealing with right now. An issue, you say? Hmm, how should I put this? My lady is the manager of Riviera Court, a huge shop in Malinortis. Can you give me a 10% discount? <laughs> Riviera Court, didn't we see it earlier? I see. If I remember correctly, Riviera Court is co-owned by multiple noble families, correct? Yes, and the Florald family is one of the primary investors. However, since the Clyde Mall opened half a year ago, our sales have nosedived. I was put in this position to help Riviera Court recover. My Mall, isn't that run by Hugo's family? Looks like things are pretty complicated. I haven't seen him since graduation, but I am cognizant of his abilities. And this Hugo person is... another one of his classmates. My father should be the one doing this, but he has hands full with his politics. My brother's focusing on managing our territory. But like, what is he actually doing? I see, I guess nobles don't necessarily have it easy. If anything, they're feeling the weakening of the noble power structure. Yes, precisely. Not to mention, you're up against Kali Small, that just adds to the complexity of our situation. Oh, what am I doing? I should be talking about this with my customers. Please don't mind me, I'm currently preparing countermeasures. Oh, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> May you have a good fortune for your, in your field exercises. If you need anything, please buy it from us. Yeah, thanks. Sorry for bothering you, you're so busy. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse us, do you later, everyone. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Thanks to all you, my lady, a smile for the first time in a great while. It's not like we did anything. She seems really busy. Is she always like that? Yes, we're always worried about her. The lady's getting busier by the day. If it's not too trouble, would you please talk to her? I mean, I could be swayed. Can you please give me, I don't know, all your money? I thought there was something up here. Okay. Oh, it's only part two, so we haven't actually missed one of these. I mean, in theory, we shouldn't miss any of them because they're all marked in your map, but... I was a little... A little concerned that we hadn't gotten any in a long time. Granted, we're still missing, what, the, the Tomato Chronicles or whatever? We have part two of that. I don't think we've gotten one of these in a while. I don't remember these at all. No, 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 it's this that we hadn't gotten one for a while, but we just got one now. Because this is like the actual, the hard one to get where you have to talk to people. Oh yeah, we should, um... Uh... Did I send you to V? Yeah, we sent V her thing. Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Yeah, you'll never believe what we found it this time. This is Very well. The dang I'll store. start deciphering them. Leave it to me. I expect to be compensated. Well, you stand the mansion of Duke Kyan. We've your double security since the Imperial Provincial Council is coming up soon. If you don't have an appointment, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. Well, you know what? Alright, um, I guess it's blade dance time. You're gonna get your ass beat, dude. I don't think we went in here, did we? Uh, uh, hello, I would like to speak. I can't... can't talk to anyone. Hey, Oliver. Wh what? <laughs> this isn't Oliver? Why do Papa and Mama fight so much? Um, well, that is... Um, <laughs> how silly, uh, dear one. I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. Lord and Lady are madly, passionately in love. Yes, that's it. Are you sure? 
You are the lady you truly are sharp. Tis worth a blessing and a curse. But fear not. I, Oliver, will do all I can to give you peace of mind. Why are Papa and Mama always fighting? I don't know. Probably because you were... <laughs> I'm not going to finish that sentence. Just, just rude for no reason. You remember the saffron we found in our territory? Well, I'd like to talk to you about the mining rights. I think Marcus Ballad wants them. That, that is correct, yes. But his ascendance of dukedom is all but assured at this point. He's promised me a position of distinction. No, my love. But why? This might be our only chance. It's exactly what you need to think about this. Do you understand how many noble families are brought low by the war? Perhaps the noble family doesn't just affect the lives of those within it, but the lives of all those under his care. You must consider the people in your charge. Yo, but like, I want to get rich. <laughs> My wife gave me another earful. I was so sure she'd be thrilled too. I mean, that doesn't seem... I mean, I've seen much more toxic relationships than that. There are many noble families that have fallen in the mayor, but the number is steadily increasing. Your stories of who being forced to leave their homes after conglomerate companies buy up their nobles' lands. Disgust when you think of nobles selling their land. They owe the people in their care all the stability they can offer. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, we didn't go to the cathedral. I was like, I feel like I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, yeah, this is really big on the outside, but it's like the exact same. Well, it's a little bit bigger in the, on like the sides, I guess. We need to decorate for the summer festival and prepare for mass. Oh, that's right. I want to pass our snacks to the children. I need to pick up a recipe to get permission for Bishop Ri Rib Robbins. Oh, it's a Bishop Ribbons for, for, for a second. I was like, what the hell is a Bishop Ribbon? Oh, Trat, why did I do this yesterday? Why am I so bad at planning things? I can't worry about that now. I need to hurry. Oh, I'm going to be late. The summer festival honors the arrival of the season. In the coastal provinces, we have a huge celebration to mark the start of the season. We traditionally hold masses at the church as well. We need to be well prepared. We know you. I feel like we know you. Count Richmond definitely seems like a familiar name. This is the majority going with Marcus Ballad. Sir Regan, you are neutral now. Will you side with us? I guarantee you won't lose anything from this. Hmm. However, the council is not the place to talk about each other's noble house's concessions. I believe it is where we should discuss how noble should care of themselves. But I tell you, Lordship, you're as prudent as ever. In this day and age, you cannot be so passive. Uh, I shall leave those discussions to all of you. Marcus Re Reagan is the head of the prestigious House Reagan of the coastal provinces. He is known for his upstanding char character, but I wonder how he will act in the council. I'm just an old timer. You young folks should do as you please. However, I'd like for the upper class to realize just exactly what it means to be a noble. What, what does it mean? Oh, I don't know. Oh, you're, you're Muse, correct? I haven't seen you in quite a Okay, it's interesting that he knows the name Muse. Because you would think they wouldn't know her as that. I apologize, Dr. Bishop, it's been far too long. It's fine, you were attending the girls' school in Heimdall, so it's completely understandable. If you're ever in trouble, Adios is watching over you. You're always welcome to visit the church. Yes, thank you. Dr. Bishop seems so kind. Yes, he's famous out the old mayor province for his compassion. I was a friend of his. He used to come here a lot as a child. Hmm. I, I think that's, that's a little sus, that the Archbishop knows her fake name, which it's either that he knows her fake name or Muse is her real name, whatever she was going by at Santa Shrio is a fake name, or they're both fake names. I think it's maybe the most likely. Hmm. Welcome to Lourdes Cathedral. It was built over 600 years ago. The Lord at the time had it built as part of a large-scale development plan. Since then, this has been a place of healing for many people in the coastal province. Now, let's send our prayers to the goddess. There seem to be some turbulence in the pews. Adios is a very keen sense of hearing. I'm sure she'll hear you out. I'm very sorry, Archbishop. <laughs> My apologies. But all right, come back again sometime to worship. He's good at warning people. You can tell he's really full of compassion. And he's got a funny hat. Anything in here? Okay. 
Okay, so now we can go to the arbor. Yeah, the water looks a lot nicer here than it did when we were coming in by train. Whoa, looking at from here, this really is a huge port city. There are tons of large ships, freighters, and it looks like there are private yachts too. They say no more freight they say more freight passes through here than just about anywhere else in the continent. One can see why this place is called the root of Lemaire's abundance. So, phony locks, don't you have a ship? Her locks aren't phony. <laughs> My grandfather owns one commercial ship and one freighter, that's about it. Many nobles have had to let go of their ships recently. I've heard many of their owners are from the capital. I see, because that's the sign of the times. We have a quest, and there should be a sailor bar around here. Might be a good idea to go there and gather information for our investigation. I see, understood. Now let us start gathering information. What are our quests? I don't remember. I know one was like a monster, and... Yeah, you're in Raquel, so we can't do that one for a little bit. You're in North Street? And... Hmm. I don't remember this one. But this is our main quest, and then there's these two. So yada yada yada. We can do that one. Picture? Picture? The wharf really has a special air about it. It's perfect for picking up chicks. The kind with a pretty face, not much going on upstairs. What the fuck? <laughs> Doing your remarks. In any case, if you wouldn't mind giving me and the instructor some private time, you never stop either. <laughs> this is quite a view. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Vivi. Perfect, I'll send this to Vivi later. By uh, later, we mean right now. Sure. Oh, actually, that time she says a uh, special dialogue. Uh, you skipped it. <laughs> Every other time she says the exact same thing. <laughs> Man, those things sure like to squawk. <clears throat> I guess seagulls are everywhere here. Ash, that's probably the dumbest thing you've ever said. <laughs> Man, those, those seagulls sure do like to squawk, don't they? <laughs> hey, Angelo, heading home for the first time in two weeks. Uh, yeah, I promised to take my little brother Luca around for the Sooner Summer Festival. I'm really looking forward to it. By the way, is all the freight organized? There seems to be a bit of a delay. Yep, rushing to handle it now. There's always a rush for the Summer Festival. I need all the help I can get. Sounds like I should help too. Well, see ya. You're not paying overtime, boss man. Talk to you later. Oh, you got the slowdown. It's going to cause problems with the Union as well. I need all the help I can get. Uh, I don't want to help. I heard the ship goes out to that deserted island. That's so cool. I'm so excited. I'm giving information on the sightseeing crews that are parts in the afternoon. A lot of the cruise ships leave from the wharf sail around the port. Luxurious rides like that really draw on the tourists. Man in suit. Yes, he is indeed a man, and he indeed has a suit. Once you get permission to drop anchor, we can load and... And load and what? And load and what? I must know. Annabelle, what the hell are you doing here? Fishing spot located. Oh, hello there. Didn't expect to run to all you here. Oh, you're the one we met in Sutherland. Annabelle, right? You mentioned you were on a trip to fish all over the Empire. How has that been? Yeah, well, about that, I have a new goal now. The Imperial Fishing Club will soon be holding an exhibition match with the Fisherman's Guild. As a professional angler, I need to make sure I have a good show in there. I need to polish my skills as much as possible for them. She does seem to be acting a bit more professional. Her goal may have changed, but she's actually doing is exactly the same. <laughs> There's some weird nobles out there. Unfortunately, I don't have much experience with sea fishing. I'm going to continue training until I've mastered it. Hmm, the fish aren't biting quite so much in the city. Uh, the Oris Coastal Road to the south is rather nice. There. All right, Kurt. Got one. This is good. Oh my God! Look at him—he's so spiky. Yes, I did it. Power droplet? I don't want that. There. 
Got one. Can you give me a thousand dollars? I wonder if I can sell the droplets. That'd probably be a better use for them. All right, a big one. I, Kurt Vander, have caught a large fish. Everyone gaze upon there. it. In the name of the Got Vander one. family, I, Kurt Vander, this is good. have acquired a large crab. Whether or not it is an enemy is still to be determined. Not bad. It is blue, just like the ocean. As there. says Kurt Vander. Got one. This is oh, good. Oh, that was like freaking as close as you could. Man, there's a whole bunch of fish here, dude. All right, a big one. Brave seed. What? Isn't that the really good one? Where, where are they? Oh no, it's the soul. It's still good. I mean, that's, that's some that's some OP shit right there. Now, I do need to I need to find a shop to see how these these uh, stat boost items like sell for. Because honestly, the money that they give probably is worth more. Uh, than the single stat point, even if it is permanent. Hello there! I have a feeling you know your horses. I do, actually. Yeah, I know they're not fucking real. I'm the vice president of a well-known riding club called Nines. How about I lend you some of our horses? What? And make for an excellent way to promote our club. Then we all win. We have to take up on your offer. Okay. You now ride horses. Yep, that's how it works in real life. You just walk up to people and they're like, you like, you know how to ride a horse, boy. Here, take some horses. You can have them. Only a month away, Wonder. Show us what you're made of. Right, I'll make sure to clean every last crumb off my plate. What are you talking about? Say in the Summer Festival Prize, up for grabs next month. But you don't have a plate. You have tea. You're not eating anything. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mega Paleo on their secret menu. You never change. You are very talented, though. Oh, there's Luna. Hey, Claire. Why is the sea blue and why is the sky blue? Is this some fucking conspiracy? Why? Tell me. Well, my lady, the goddess likes the color blue. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I see how it is, Claire. Doing the same shit. You think I'm not on to you people? All oh, adults are the fucking same. Why is the goddess like the color blue? I saw this coming. Skies in the sea are huge in this town, but why are they both blue? I mean, she's, she's asking them questions. I'm not good at talking to Lady Una, Luna. I hope my master and lady come back soon. We made machines, but the key to cargo is muscles. As long as you got muscles, you can carry anything. Muscles are the best. As long as you got muscles, you can carry anything. Make sure to train your muscles. This is the Port Storehouse Management Union. We handle all the logistics in this harbor. All loading and unloading has to go through us. It's a huge responsibility. As you can see, I'm so busy that I'm standing here doing nothing. That's why they call me the boss. We're the Port Storehouse Management Union. We handle all If you have any questions, just ask me. Why aren't you working? Shut the fuck up. I'm the boss. Boss don't gotta work. It's in the name. Are you our quest? Are you Mr. Eston? We're from Thor's Branch Campus and have accepted your request. Oh, you guys are... Well, yeah, we really need a helping hand. Can you get it started right away? Can you tell us the details first? Nope. Just go to, go to do your job. We hear you'd like us to help with the ship inspections. Inspections, huh? You want some suspicious cargo on the ships? That's the gist of it, but thorough inspections will take too much time. So I'd just like you to help us out a bit with uh, them instead. What do you say? Then what should we do? Sure, we can help right away. Uh, now great, let me give you the details. So I'd like you to help us out with inspecting the ships that are anchored at the docks. There are two main tasks. The first is look through everything to make sure nothing is suspicious. If nothing is suspicious, burn it on the spot. The second is to collect the docking fees. Ah yes, the docking fees. How much do we ask for? All their money. 
That depends on the volume of the ship. There are five sizes. Small, semi-medium, medium, semi-large, and large. Wow, that's a lot of sizes. Funny you mention that. It wasn't really like this recently. The regulations have recently changed. Also, the volume of the ship should be written on the registration papers. So please ask the ship's owners for the registration papers. Understood. And what if the owner's in your bath? Burn the ship. Well, there should be contact information on the ship. Just contact the owners and then proceed with the inspection. If you see any new ships arrive, I want you to inspect them as well. This is going to take a while. Organize the procedure. First, contact the ship's owner. Second, inspect the cargo. Confirm the registration. Third, receive a payment according to the ship's size. Is this the correct workflow? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, one last thing. Once you finish your instruction, please put a sticker on the ship to mark that it's been checked. I feel like I've done this quest before. Here's a stack of them. They received a stack of inspection stickers. Alright, good luck. Just leave it to us. Mr. Boat. No one's here. Then let's check the contact info and... They contact the ship owner and confirm the cargo and registration in the ship. I know it's a precaution because of the provincial council, but these inspections are so bothersome. Even so, we appreciate your cooperation. This dock has really changed in such a short time. Even commoners can own yachts now. Anyway, here's the docking fee. A small medium. Thank you for your docking fee. We'll put a sticker in your butt to show that it's been checked. Do as you please. Now if you'll excuse me. That guy seemed really tired. I know times are tough. I'm sure he has to share his share of troubles. Are times tough? I feel like the game spent the last, like, entirety of it being like, Erebone is doing fucking great. I, mean, I guess it's only bad if you're, like, a noble. But is it really that bad if you're a noble? Is this guy here before? Maybe he's here to check a ship. Good timing, I guess. Hello. I didn't steal it or nothing. Uh, oh, you're... Uh, are you here to admire my yacht? No, we're... The group explained. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, take a look at my yacht. I named it Radiance. The man's cooperation. They checked the cargo and registration. Maybe it's the docking fee. Yeah, I need to pay for a small semi-medium ship, right? Well, it doesn't like you're cheating the system. Well, the law's the law. Anyway, anyway I'm going to continue to admire Radiance for a little while longer. Oh, is that alright if I put the sticker on myself? Sure. Well, he was really excited. Yeah, he seemed to be doing well financially. So if you're here, looking at your ship, and you're not at home guarding your valuables, and we know where you live, hmm... Really, really makes you think. Really makes you think. A small orbital boat. Let's contact the owner and get this over with. That should conclude our task. <laughs> Good work! This is a docking fee. Can I get the sticker? Oh, I love the sticker. Man, the, the man handed the group the docking fee for a small ship and they gave him a sticker. There you go. That was fast. Well, I'm used to doing this. I like sticking the stickers on my forehead. Just you know, I own a big ship, too. I want this little one throw you off. Duly noted. Well, don't we get to take your other money? Oh, what do you students need for my shot? I knew you were kind of suspicious. Well, actually, the group explained. I see, so you're helping the inspections. This is a big ship. What is it carrying? These are all products from my company, Kleist Co. I see, so contraband. Didn't we go to the Kleist Mall earlier? Yes, it's run by our company. Well, I mean, you don't know that we went there. Anyway, let's get this over with. Who will be here for the inspection? I'll be here in the owner's stead. After inspecting the ship, they confirmed the registration. Here's the docking fee. Docking fee for a large ship. Thank you. Here goes the sticker. There. Phew, I'm tired. Same here, but... That's a... That's a big boat. 
Looks like another ship just docked. So we have to inspect it as well. Let's not forget to do that. Damn, that's a big one. Let's get a hold of the person in charge and go straight into the inspection. Yuna and company talked to the noble who owned the ship and... But he was annoyed they finished the inspection. Ugh, children ogling my ship. I need to disinfect it later. What a piece of... You know, don't let him bother you. <laughs> they get to you, you lose. Hmm. Here's the docking fee. For a semi-large ship? You see how big that motherfucker is? Oh, wait a second, this is a semi-large ship? Looks pretty big to me. According to the registration papers, it's semi-large. According to the standards, it's barely within the limits for a semi-large ship. Well, will you hurry? Go dumb with the sticker, then get lost already. Breathe, Yuna, breathe. Good job. Our inspections are complete. Let's report to the clerk. Oh, the cruiser's an RF model from one generation ago. You can tell from here you must really like ships. And it's one generation old, it could barely fall in the large range. You know, because of that, the newest model is a little more compact. And I kind of suck that such a little difference in the volume changes your tax bracket? The lines need to be drawn somewhere. Director, this is... Yeah, something ain't wrong in this paper. It seems like something fishy's going on. I've got to confront him. Let's just report it to Eston later. Understood. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised we were never like asked any questions or nothing. Kind of figured there'd be like some trickery going on with uh, some individuals, but I guess that's just it. Just make sure you talk to those people before you uh, progress. Good work, everyone. Looks like your inspections went off without a hitch. Well, actually, the group reported the mismatching size of the cruiser. Ah, I see. You must have falsified his information. That lines up. But why would he do that? Yeah, he seemed really well off. Perhaps his wealth is exactly why he's so stingy. Well, it's kind of stupid to pay a larger fee. Or it might be his way of protecting, protesting against the government. Well, it's true that nobles have been getting less income through taxation. That doesn't justify falsifying his papers, though. Anyway, I'll handle this from here on out. He will be dealt with. Permanently. I'm glad I asked you to help out. I hope I can ask for your help again. I don't. Is there an opportunity to present itself? Who's has like a bracer on the next time? Smoke grenades! Give me a real reward. Thank you so much. You guys are a big help. I will never use a battle scope. Like, let's be honest. It's just never happening. West Sumerian Trade Conference calling out to all countries. Possibility of Calvary being left out. Hmm, I don't really get it, but things don't seem to be going so well. Every time I come back to Wardus, things with the Republic seem to get worse. Technology column has an interview with the RF group. The first time I land in a while, I guess I'll take my time reading the latest Imperial Chronicle. Ah, the seafood is wonderful here, and being by the coast doesn't hurt either. I can't wait to see where we eat tonight. Oh, it's so busy! I pay well here, which is why I applied, but every time I ship dock, loads of customers come in. I had no clue it was this hard. I'm exhausted. I ran to the sailor bar. The food they feed me is good, and the pay is good, but it's just always so busy. I'm exhausted. There's fucking three people here. <laughs> I guess technically four. I guess technically five. Family vacations are nice. Should we go on a cruise or sail on a yacht? Last time, my father decided on a whim to take us on a trip to Ordis. It's fun and all, but he didn't plan anything. Okay. Smell you later. Oh, hey, welcome. Uh, sorry about all the noise. The customers can get rowdy, but they're all nice people, so order away. Wow, this is a lot. You're like a mom to us all. Oh, no, 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 stop it. I don't want such big kids. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It is so lively. A tavern. This is my first time coming to a place like this. It's one patron. <laughs> Welcome to Sailor's Oasis, kids. Ranch food's the best. Eat, eat, and eat some more. Is that why you have not touched any of your food? Shut up. Y 
you sell any food for me to copyright? You freaking do. <sighs> My money, it's all gone. Yeah, well, are these power droplets sell for anything? They don't. Bang. That's a shit in a heartbeat. Do the brave seeds sell for anything? They do. Wow, so you could like really farm money doing that? I have no interest, but... Because I mean, if there are 400 for a pop for fishing bait, as long as you get one every like, you know, 10 casts, they pay for themselves. You get like a nice little profit. That's uh, plus all the other sapith you would get. You would get. I don't really have much interest in grinding out fishing and stuff. Like a, I don't think it's that. Like it doesn't sound very fun to me. And b, it kind of like eliminates a lot of the challenge. Like at least of the the economy stuff. Because I mean, as much as I like, I like joke and complain about like being poor and everything. It is way more interesting to like have to manage your resources and like think about what you want to buy than it is if you just have like infinite money and you can buy everything you want because honestly that's something you run into like on a lot of uh jrpgs is that like maybe money's tight at the start but by the end of the game like you're just you have more money than you know what to do with and you like never have to worry about it uh anymore but like the trails games are pretty good about as long as you don't like min max it you just play through casually, you're, you'll actually stay kind of strapped for cash the entire time, which does make buying stuff more interesting. What the ash? You, do, hey, you, you little runt! What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm working! Duh! I do deliveries in Ordis now! And Raquel, they don't let kids work, even if they're really good like me. You're making money, huh? Sounds like you've grown up, you little crybaby. Stop calling me, that was a long time ago! How cute, do you know him? He was one of the neighborhood kids. He lived with his little sister and grandma. And you might look at things, I guess they're doing just fine. Yeah, they're doing just fine, as the fucking nine-year-old has a day job. <laughs> it's a heartwarming tale of child labor. So anyway, Ash, you wear that uniform on, you saw the face of a criminal. Whatever. You need to go back to work, you, go, you probably get paid by delivery, don't you? That's right, I need more fish and I'm not gonna get paid. Hey guys, you stop getting my way? Jeez. No. You, you can't move. No, no moving. This is North Street of Port City. Of the port city. It's basically a hill that leads to the port. In addition to the taverns, there's an ornament shop and a glass workshop that is popular with the Duke households. Oh, despite being the big city of nobles, it's actually quite approachable. Oh, well, the stalls, it's pretty lively. The sea breeze is laced with a pleasant aroma. <laughs> you must be cooking seafood somewhere. I'm glad nothing has changed. Oh, is there home around here? Isn't this the commoner area? When my grandfather retired, he moved to this area. Would it be alright for me to say hi? It's just past this alley. Nope. Permission denied. Is it alright if we meet them too? By all means. This is exciting. Sure, my friends are here too, but I'm going to introduce my potential future husband to everyone. I don't want you to shock them, so don't joke around, okay? I still can't gauge how serious she is. You say Sammy, I have no idea what to expect. Count Egret, the home of any count has got to be prestigious. Empire meat. Oh, you're the young lady who's related to Sir Egret. It's nice to see you, Bartolo. Or Bart Bartolo? Has anything changed? Uh huh, look at the times they're living. You can't really say they're peaceful. Marcus Bowden's a government puppet, the RMP barges in everyone's business, and the Imperial Navy has to get in their way. I guess it just goes to show you where great power comes a great many headaches. Is that so? Yes, you're the Imperial Provincial Council and the Summer Festival fall on the same day, so everyone's in a festive mood. Plan on sticking around, make sure to be careful. What's this old guy? There's something about him. I heard my grandfather did him a big favor, so he still owes him. 
It also just goes to show you that Muse is pretty well connected. Brown sausage. That's like garbage. Why would I ever buy this? It's like significantly worse than Freddy's thing that's like free. I mean, it's not free, but like the materials to make it are pretty easy to get in comparison. You only got a ragtag group on your hands. The Ashen Chevalier, some weird kids, and Linko from Raquel. Anything I can help you with, just let me know, my lady. Uh, you know more than you should. Thank you, Bartolo. Weird kids. Seems to know about me, too. He's so informed, to say the least. I can't believe you recognize Reem with his glasses on. <laughs> it's such a good disguise. Oh, are you a tourist? You, um, we sell some rooms in our inn. Uh, during the summer festival, everything gets booked up. Make your reservations sooner rather than later. Oh, trap. Betty went out again. We got busy, so I was going to ask her to help out, but I suppose I'm too late. Man, I look at when I was younger, I was capable of catching giant great white sharks. Nowadays, don't go fishing unless I feel like it, but I'm still the best in the business. Call me Shark Kesher Russell. All I do nowadays is drink here. Bro, stop selling stuff. What's it even do? Give CP and heals? Okay, so it's just better versions of like the Yuzu stuff and the whatever it's called. The noodles of destiny. Like it actually is just better than the noodles? Is that allowed? The Empire invaded and nerfed the noodle recipe? Did anybody else see how fucked this is? They nerfed the, the noodle lord? They're like, yo, this shit's too strong. The average Imperial can't handle this. 30% regen on top of 50 CP. There's no way average Airbonian's head would explode. They're not strong enough mentally. You are Reigns. I thought you were Reigns, but like, I couldn't tell if you're just someone who looked like you. Because there are like, there's like a generic NPC model that kind of looks like Reigns, but I finally like got permission to come here to cover the Provincial Council. What are the Imperial Noble's decisions going to be? It's really the Crossbow Times. I'm excited. I gotta get my coverage in. Also, you know, you're a spy. I've always wanted to come to Ortis. I gotta get my coverage of the Provincial Council. Welcome, we pride ourselves, we pride ourselves on our seafood. We only use the freshest fish. They're as fatty and delicious as we can get. Go on and give it a taste. Go on, give, give the fish a little little kiss. Smell like a drunk, but his skills are fishermen the real deal. Call me Shark Catcher. All I do nowadays is drink. Talk about how I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Another such assorted quotes. It smells nice. Ortis is also known for its abundance of flowers. Well, how known is it if it's just now being mentioned? Oh, I found a nice flower shop. I should get home now that I'm done running errands, but it won't hurt to take a peek, right? Yeah, whatever you say, not Cheryl. I should get home now that I'm done running errands, but it won't hurt to take a peek, right? I'm not buying any flowers as a gift, alright? It's just not happening. Oh my lady, it's been a while. Hello, Glycin. It looks like the flowers are coming into full bloom. You know, so had ample sunlight this year. Most of the flowers are blooming so beautifully. Please take a good gander. You fucks. You pieces of garbage. I don't have any money. Oh. For Sharon? Did I just buy a gift for Sharon? What the hell is wrong with me? Why would I ever do that? Here, you know, take your damn juicer. Don't talk to me. 
Isn't this one of those new world users? I can't accept this. I'd really like it if you would. It's just to show my gratitude for all your hard work. You know how to cook, so I'm sure you'll get good use of it, out of it. Well, if you insist. All right, I'll make you a smoothie then next time, instructor. I should shouldn't send Sharon. It. Why? Hope she'll like it. Oh my God, we maxed out with Sharon for any character. Cringe, cringe. This year was especially good, and so many varieties are in full bloom. You know, you don't actually, like, sell any flowers, though. Like, you don't, you don't sell any flowers? Like, we didn't even buy any flowers. We bought perfume. Oh, you're for our quest. Oh, my lady, it's been a while. I suppose it has been about two years. It looks like you've improved greatly, Luther. Still have a long way to go. Gramps is the ultimate craftsman. He even received the golden emblem. I can hold my own in the workshop, but the glasswork pales in comparison to his. I know this place looks prestigious, but the golden emblem. That means this place produces the best glassworks in the empire. This might make a perfect souvenir. I made some of them for practice, so I don't blow things out of proportion. Anyway, uh, we always greatly appreciate our customers. We can adjust orbits as well, so please let me know if you need any help with that. Gramps is the ultimate craftsman. He even received the golden emblem. I can hold my own in the workshop. My glasswork pales in comparison to his. Why are everything so expensive? We use slots. Okay, so Yuna... Yuna could still use an extra slot. We use you enough that we can justify it. But now it's just Altina who needs one? I'm gonna be honest, Altina. You're, you just, you, we're not, it's not happening. Not right now, at least. Maybe later. A pinky ring with three hearts on it. What? The Elder Watch? What was the watch one was like? It was like a hundred strength and prevents delay for all of them. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's pretty good, but it would require like 10k gold for the whole thing at this point. I think we only have one of the watches. I don't know. I feel like delay is not. I mean, it's used a little bit, and it's nice to have, but. Oh, we should use that gift. We did. We still need to go back and buy one of the gifts at uh, Lice, right? We only bought one of the two, I think. Artisan hamburger. I should send Elisa a gift, huh? Hope she'll like it. Time wrap. We can accept this quest and then we'll probably end the video. Long time no see, Mr. Strauss. Oh, you're Lady Egret. Must be the students of the Thor's Branch Campus. That's right, we're here for your request. As I suspected, you are an acquaintance of Musees. Since our mansion's nearby, we have simply enjoyed the privilege of his service. I never served you, I was just acquainted with the Count. Unlike nobles, I like to believe the power is the determining factor of a person's value. Based, based. I mean, Count Egret's fine, but look at that Duke Kyan. Below that pile of fine silky birds is a truly pitiful man. Well, since you mentioned it, the Civil War was basically a result of him running wild. Oh, I see. Well, I mean... Yes and no? I mean, it's, it's really unfair to blame it all on Duke Kyan. Duke Kyan was a symptom of a broken system, not a cause of the broken system. Wasn't it Altina who ultimately captured him? Oh, well. Yeah, you got some balls saying that out there in the open. Sure, time to change him, but I think this little nobleman's town. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Man, if you want to do something about it, go right ahead. I'll punch you right in the face, young whippersnapper. Uh, I ain't gonna do jack. I got some respect to someone as crazy as you. Well, Mr. Strauss is a famous glassmaker. Many nobles love his work, so he gets some leeway. I guess that's one way to put it. 
You know, I'm busy this time of year. It'd be great if you could uh, help me prepare for the summer festival. Understood. So what do you need to do? Well, I was already tasked with creating a decoration for the summer festival. I want you to collect some materials that I need. Or the summer festival is also a celebration of the sea. We use seashells for decorations. I want you to collect some jade shells, which are kind of hard to come by. I want some big, tiny scratches. Jade shells, huh? They have a pretty name. They're shells that are unique in the coastal province. They become hard to come by by the time of year due to the summer festival. So where can we find them? I don't know. Fucking look around the beach or something. I don't know. Why don't you try using your brains? <laughs> he seems pretty hot under the collar. He's kind of like old man Schmidt. Well, if they're high in demand, it'll probably be hard to find them in town. In which case, we should go look for them on our own. Yes, we should head to the beach along the coastal road. They're big and not scratched. Sounds like a pain in the ass, but whatever. Let's go. Come back when you think you found a worthy jade shell. Nailed him. Love me jaded. The best jade shells are big and don't got no scratches. If you find one like that, please hand it to me. Nailed him. Get the hell out of my shop. Where is the count? Oh, it's over there. Alrighty, we will, uh, we, you know, we can go ahead and do this house just to round out the NPC talking. And then we'll progress the main story some in the next video. Guess what, my big brother's coming back to tomorrow. He's a sailor and he travels all over, so he doesn't home much, but, like, he's really cool and I can't wait. He can't wait. My oldest son is a sailor, so he isn't home very often. But this year, he's going to come back for the summer festival. I can't wait to see him. Anyone up here? Nope. Well, alrighty. In the next video, we will uh, swing by Count Egret's residence. See if we can learn a little bit more about the Muster. And maybe, just maybe, I mean, we, we went through a whole episode and Muse was only horny like two times, so that's like a record or something. Can I talk to you guys? Aren't there any handsome guys anywhere? Maybe I should find someone rich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't have anything to lose. No way, that's not possible. I mean, not even in our dreams. If there are a lot of tourists because of the summer festival, maybe I'll actually try and find someone this year. Yeah, good luck with that. Alrighty, I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.